Brandon and Brandon, okay. right, you two are not only from the same team, same team, but you are also both now qualified for the North American National Championship. And if you take this far enough, you could take it to a world title. How do you two feel? <laughs> I feel fantastic. I, I don't know why, but this is probably the best thing that's ever happened, ever. Like, not only am I getting to go on a trip that I really want to go on, but I get to go there with a bud. Like, you can't get better than that. A dream. And what about you, Brandon? Uh, I've been excited uh, because I won, but I came, even though I had my, you know, championship title already, to just let my teammates get a chance. And uh, Brandon was the one that we worked diligently, you know, play testing night and day and day and night. So it's like, it's really a bitter, or like a really, really sweet end right. to see that, you know, my teammate that we work so hard together and it actually pays off in the end. And, I, you know, I'm honored to be the Canadian national, even though I'm from the United States. But, I, you know, I'm just really, really psyched right now, especially to have a teammate in top two and then also a teammate in third and fourth place that can potentially go just in case the other guy can't. But Brandon for sure will be there. Uh, and we can go to Kelly. more events. And you know. How did you two get into card fight? Hey, wait, wait, wait. That's a better I got it. For him. All right. A lot of people don't know this, but Card Fight Vanguard came out in roughly November of last year. Um, they came out with the English version. The very second they came out with the English version, um, I had my store owner figurehead the whole bringing card fight to America. So a lot of vendors that you know, a lot of vendors that are now like um, GTS and uh, you know Ed Story at Global Enterprises in New York. A lot of distributors, you know, besides Hammer Girl, Hammer Girl was like the beginning. But besides Hammer Girl, we're like one of the first people. Our state probably had like a little bit of an advantage because we had it, you know, the day it came out. So that's how I, I started in Vanguard, and then I got him started in Vanguard. I taught him basically. Not everything he knows, but a lot. Okay. Even though I was slightly involved in you playing gold to begin with. Yeah, true. That's a very heartwarming story. What's the philosophy behind your deck? Uh, My deck? <laughs> no, he fine tuned it. So. Hey, all right, let me let me, let me explain. All right, so I'm an Oracle Think Tank player originally, <laughs> and I love the control and the draw aspect of the of the game. And I played against him in one of our tournaments. He's playing special Duke, never heard of it. You know, I'm just like you know new to it. He's like it stands again. I'm like wait, this is broken. So I, I decided to play the same deck. He ends up dropping it for a little bit. He plays World Paladins. He also top eight the Canada, uh, which I also. But and he top eight this event. Yeah, yeah. But besides the, besides that point, um, so he basically introduced me to uh, Fetcher Duke and the Go Paladin. I fine tuned the deck and I went undefeated. And he's playing my build today and he went undefeated. There has been various controversies regarding the double elimination format of tournaments, uh, the, single na uh, the single match nature of individual rounds, random the alleged non-randomity uh, matchups, and how the top eight were determined. Do you two feel that any of these factors have hurt the legitimacy of the tournament? No, I don't believe that a game would ever come here. I don't. I don't believe that they would come here and not have a system. They have a system, but America is not used to best two out of three. Or, I mean, yeah, we're used yeah. to best two out of three. We're best to the Swiss format. We don't understand the inner workings no, of double, double elimination. elimination. The tiebreaker system is very weird in double elimination, and we've never even experienced it before until this game started because this is more of a Japanese style of yeah. structure. So I know they have a system. I know they won't lie about that. That's stupid. Like, no one would ever lie about that. That would be... That, they don't. They have too much to lose by lying exactly. about that. I, like, it's, don't it's just so weird to us that and, pe and when people don't make it, they get upset, and no matter what, so they'll their first thing they're gonna do is attack the judges. Yeah, like I feel very sorry for people who didn't make it, who were like X1 and didn't make it. But it was like it's a fact that not every X1 is gonna get in all the time. Like it was a fact that I, I lost to him also. So so did Kyle Warfield. 
and it was like a fact that I might not have made it. I came to sixth place. I was expecting third or second, and I was expecting Kyle to third or second. But it's because of double. I came. I, I came in sixth, and it's just because the double elimination and the way the tiebreakers work are different from most things that Americans or North Americans use. Like uh, I'm used to the Konami software. I'm used to the Magic software. But this is a little bit different. Uh, you know, maybe later on it, down the road they might switch over to using some kind of switch style or two out of three format. But right now it is what it is. I mean, they're brand new. At this point in Konami's, uh, you know, tournament organized play, there was none. So, you know, we got to take what we have, you know? Like, Konami didn't even hardly have organized play here back then. Yeah. But it, you were, we're, only, we're, we're only what? Not even ten we're, we're only yeah we're all, we're less than a year into playing car fight manga. We already have a tournament that sends you across the country and then possibly across, across the, world the world for to play free. Where Konami did not. So like as an advancement of play, I give Bushy Road and Car Fight Manga a very 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 high plus because they're being ahead of the game on the curve. You know what I mean? I mean I I, um, I know it sucks for some people who didn't make it, and I feel sorry, and I definitely you know can understand how they feel, but. You know, we can't be mad at the fact that that's what happened. I'm very sorry, you know, like, I apologize, and I'm not even at fault. And even to suggest that if they possibly are lying about their system, that's just asinine. Yeah, there's no reason for that. I understand that people are mad, but they would never do that. Exactly. Okay, it's great to hear that player input. Uh, we better wrap this up, seeing yeah. as the ceremony is finished. Thanks for your interviews, guys. This has been